Back tap has long been an incredibly handy shortcut that lets you trigger a plethora of actions by double tapping or triple tapping on the back of your iPhone. Whether it's about activating the lock screen, snapping a screenshot, or invoking the music haptics, the shortcut has got you fully covered. But that hasn't been the case for a handful of iPhone users who recently updated to iOS 18. If the back tap is also misbehaving on your iPhone, I have got you covered with some handy fixes. That said, let's get a start. First off, I would recommend you to remove the bulky case from your iPhone. Have you installed a bulky or a heavy duty case on your iPhone recently? If you are nodding in the affirmative, I suspect that it is the muscular case that is causing the problem and preventing the back tap from functioning properly. Hence, remove the case and then check if the back tap feature is back on track. And then I would recommend you to ensure that you have perfectly set up the back tap feature on your iPhone. While it is pretty straightforward, it would be better to check of the basics right off the bat. To do so, we have to open the settings app on your iPhone, then select accessibility. And under the physical and motor section, select the touch option. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose the back tap option. Then you have to select double tap. Then you have to select the preferred action like lock screen. From now onward, you can trigger this particular action by double tapping on the back of your iPhone. From what I have experienced, the back tap gesture tends to work properly along the top or the bottom of the rear side. Then I would recommend you to force restart your iPhone. If you still can't trigger the desired actions using the back tap gesture, I would suggest you to go for this pretty handy solution as it has the knack for fixing frustrating iOS related problems. To do so, you have to press and release the volume up button, then you have to press and release the volume down button, and then you have to hold down the side button aka the power button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. If the back tap shortcut is being blocked by a software bug, updating the software would be the right way to go. To do so, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone, then select it. After that, choose software update, and then you have to download and install the latest update. And finally, I would recommend you to factory reset your iPhone. Many a time, resetting the iPhone to the default state works in fixing the annoying problems. Therefore, I would suggest you to give it a try. Knowing the fact that it doesn't harm any media or data, you shouldn't worry about losing anything at all. To get going, you have to open the settings app on your iPhone, then select general. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and choose transfer or reset iPhone. Then select reset. Then choose Reset All Settings, and then you have to input your device passcode and confirm the action. And that's pretty much it. So, these are the best tips and tricks through which you'll be able to fix back tap not working on iPhone. Hopefully, you have gotten the better of the problem. And I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a good time. Bye bye.